Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as we continue our Germany Merchant Republic game. So, in the couple of previous episodes, or in the last session, well, in the last episode, we went to war against France, we kicked their ass, so now they only desire one province, so that's okay, ish. Um, we released Burgundy, so now I actually need to fabricate another claim on France. And I can only fabricate a claim on three ga three provinces. Let's actually take a look at the aggressive expansion before I do this. H, yeah, that's fine. At the most, it will go to 25. So, I do believe, yeah, at, at the most. Five, yeah, let's go for that one. A little less uh, chance to get discovered. Just a tiny little bit. But yeah, we do have a, tr uh, a claim on a Scotland, so we should actually use it. That is the thing, I should actually use that. Also, I want... I think I already have a claim right there. Yeah, it will go until uh, 91. So we'll go for Ireland, I'll vassalize them. I'm not sure if... Uh, I can just straight up vassalize them. <coughs> because um, I took... Uh, the time to actually convert them to reform, so now they are reformed. They are a kingdom, but they are reformed, so that's brilliant. Okay, uh, so let's actually take a look over here. Minus one, yeah, I wanted to see. Oh, we're actually losing. Let's wait a little bit. Oh, because of the Liberté, Equality, Fraternité, yeah. We took the, uh, the <coughs> revolution ideals, so to speak, and we already discovered, but it's okay. We went to 19, so that's fine. Thicker than water? No, I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. Decline. Lose 50 military points. They are not as important right now. And actually, I want to see how much will it cost to build this one, for instance. 451. That's because we have a little, a tiny little bit of inflation. It's actually, I think, dropping slightly. So that's good. <coughs> we will have access to the uh, tax assessor at level 27 though so that will reduce our inflation considerably now uh, i do not want to build a min i do want to build in military matters so let's use it i don't think i have a manpower map mode all right buildings i do yes i do all right so this is the places where i want to build them 60 this gives me what Force limits, manpower increase, but this one will give me plus 50. <coughs> so I am going to build these. Now, do I want to build these in here? This one has straight power, this one has straight power as well, but I really don't care for these trade powers, so I'm going to actually go for a uh, manpower increase over here. Uh, over here, Anoverian, yeah. Over here, it's Danish. I could flip it because it will give me a minus 33% and we are ahead of time. Yeah, I can actually start to use a little bit of conversions. Economic map mode, trade value, trade goods, economic, 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 buildings, nope. Economical, right next to it. Actually would like a base tax thing. A two, three, seven, this will cost me a lot. 175. Hmm. Now, do I want to actually convert these guys? I think I do. I'm not going to take that one for a while. I, I don't want to boost my trade, I think. Well, actually, I can, I can boost it until I actually have all the first four in this trade note. Let's actually do it there. Want to increase my power in this trade note. This one I don't mind. Pretty much everything is being forwarded there. Switzerland is the only one that is collecting there. And Burgundy. No, but Burgundy, me. No, I actually put Burgundy in the Android trade in the Frankfurt trade note, which is awesome. And I have 86%. I have 38% of the power here. Netherlands are actually growing, and I have 97 there. 66 there, Jesus. Over here, however, I actually want to grow a little bit more my power. That means trade depot, marketplaces. I only have these two, I think, over here. 
Nope, I have more. Now I have more. So let's build these. You are being sieged. You, I want that. And this is no longer is no not mine. So yeah, I want to boost my trade power in here. I have Gotland, so I can fabricate a claim on the Volian Order and whatever. Norway to turn order and Austria. This could be a cheap way to get into a war with Austria. Oh, they are actually allied with Spain already. Oh, that's fine. We might actually go for a war against Austria in the meantime. But let's uh, continue with the game. I think I actually want to vassalize Ireland first though. Two years. Yeah, the war with Austria will take more than two years, so I definitely want to take that. I want to take care of uh, Ireland first. Russia on the other, and I also want Russia to join me in that war. Now, do I want to fabricate a claim up here? What is my aggressive expansion towards you? Minus four. Yes, I do. I do want to fabricate a claim. So, where do I want it? Also, what is this one? Local fortification. Hmm, this will come in handy. It's a base tax one, though. Let's take a look at the trade power in this area. Actually, I can only fabricate claim on these two. And this one is not my culture. Curland, however, is, so... Fabricate a claim on Curland. And I could actually fabricate one on Reval, but it's not my culture as well. So I'll fabricate a claim there, and we'll start to grow a little bit over here. Even though I don't want to get a border with Russia. If we get one, eh, so be it. I don't care. Show Elan. Hmm. Our strong emphasis on offensive gives our country an army. Country's army a feeling of strength because attack is always the best form of defense. Our men charge fearlessly into battle, knowing that victory will be theirs. Rule of armies plus fifteen. If this was in the in the the war with France, that would be brilliant. However, for five years, I might actually change because Austria is being is getting pounded by the Ottomans. Uh, Ottomans, are you at war with Spain as well? No, you are not. But they are being pounded, and I do have my claim in this one, correct? Yes. So might as well. I'll have Lithuania, Livonia, Norway, Teutonic Order, Spain, and Tuscany. If I were to declare war, I have no diplomats, though. So we'll wait for a little bit. Fabricate a claim, fabricate a claim, and fabricate a claim. Jesus, I'm fabricating three claims. All right, on Liege. Yeah, that's another one that I want to take. And I want to take it soon. Oh, great. This, this is great. Yeah, right now I actually prefer the shot, uh, the maneuver, and the fire. The sixes there are awesome. I'm going to not have these guys like this though. Yeah, because I don't need these guys like that, and neither does I need. Do I need on this guy and on this guy? So less chance for my uh, generals to die. Only have one. Yeah, I'm not going to recruit any more armies. How's my colony, by the way? It's getting there. Slowly. Very, very slowly, but it's getting there. Uh, because I have that... Oh, and Spain has a, a lot of land here, so... Hmm. Might not actually declare a war for Austria as of yet. At least not until I actually have this province fully fledged. Hmm, maybe. Alright, I need to build a little bit more of military. Conquest against Liege. Liege, did you get on any alliances? Nope. Guess what then? In one day I will... Oh, breaking truce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of forgot about this. I have a truce with them because I released them. Ah, jeez. How long will that truce last? Liege. 81, so three years. Ah, that's fine. Let's actually start to prepare my army to go up to Ireland. One army should be more than enough to handle this. Conquest against France, good. Now I have another one over there. Uh, let me actually take a look. I do have a claim there. Now do I want to fabricate more claims? Leans, you are Austrian, so I really don't like to have one province like that, so I'm going to fabricate a claim on Leans as well. Fickle state on Naples, full annexation. How about that, Naples? I'll live with France, yeah. 
So what? I just beat France and I will beat it again. They were at war with Spain, that's why it was so easy. Even though we had quite a nice battle. It was quite nice. And we have we were have been discovered up there. That's fine as well. And we have been discovered there. Jesus. Milan left. Great. 69 and you left. Who am I to judge? 877. 22, 22. Yeah, I'm going to keep that for now. So the truce will expire on 18th of April. So one year. Okay. Then in the meantime, go grab my other army because I'm going for a war against. Uh, not, not right now. Because they will call Austria. And Austria will take care of the war leader. Even though Austria is being split open. What is the Austrian army? Austria, 21,000. 4,000 manpower. Spain. Do you scare me? Probably not. 77,000. Yeah, my only problem is that if Spain actually has those 77,000 down there and they seize my colony. And that will tear apart the goal to get to India for about a hundred years. And right now a hundred years actually mean a lot because we have 150 years left in the game. Yes, global settler increase, please. The colony should start to grow a little bit more, 55 per year. Yeah, we're getting minus 30. Should be getting 85, which was more or less what I said we would get. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Right. Ottomans, please don't take uh, that one. You shouldn't. Yeah, but you are going to town. The traders took over. Well, that's fine. So that means more money for me. However, that will mean that I won't be able to get the discount to building so I should have built uh, I'm not sure for money anyhow stock exchange oh the production yeah right what do you produce here wine uh, damn I wanted to build the refinery there 9.25 Jesus let's actually take a look yeah 9.25 that's the most 8.8. .8. This is also something that I want. 8.8. .8. I'm going to spend what? 500 gold? No, I need I need discount. So it's 450. 450. Uh, 10 per year. We'll round it. We'll give 50 years. So in 50 years they'll pay for themselves and they'll start to turn a profit. More or less. Because that's only the production and it actually increases the trade value as well, so it's less than that. Especially because I have such a high trade income. It should be... It should pay for itself quite easily. Brunswick, local defensiveness. Uh, I don't care for tariffs. Friends, enter the coalition. Come again for big fit. 30, 30, yeah. That, that, that's not good. We could have a coalition war coming soon. Milan is not in the coalition, but I don't have a border with them. So I'm guessing f I'm going to take Ireland, which will drive these guys even further into the coalition. And then we'll have a period of peace. Yet again. Because I need France to leave the coalition. I fabricated three claims, four claims, and was discovered in two. Something like that. Okay, but slaves. Oh, that's not bad. I mean it's bad, but it's not bad. Because it's a high value high value thing. However, I'm not going to put a merchant in here for now, so me. Eh. Mood point. I actually want to control the trade from Europe. So going for India is kinda eh. Just for that East Indian uh, trade company. Just for that, what do I do for you guys? Trade efficiency, level 2. I think I have a level 3 guy. Nope, revelations over time. I will keep you though.
Level 3, level 3, and we're making... <laughs> Jesus. I'm swimming in cash. <laughs> they are allied with uh, France. Let's take a look at the French army then, because I do want to fight that, and I do want to take Ireland, France. 157. They have no manpower though. Okay. War with France it is. However, I won't be able to make separate peace with these guys. Oh, Jesus, really? I wonder, if I embargo you, would you embargo me back? There used to be a trick like that. Actually, would you accept a vassalization? Yes, you would. Right, and this is a moot point. I'm going to improve relations with you. Can I get up to a hundred? Probably. Uh, to two hundred, probably. Same religion. Couple of gifts. Transfer trade power. Yeah, we should be able to. So I should be able to vassalize you. However. Minus four. Number of great powers allied for Ireland. Yeah, I can get around with that. Uh, however, what is your opinion of France? Because if France actually vassalizes you, 138. Let's see if they are improving relations, though. The French opinion of Ireland, Irish opinion of France. No, they will not be able to pull that off. Okay, good. 149. Natives are rising. Yeah, it should be... Yeah, look at that. Not even... I didn't lose anything. Okay, so we are not going for a war against Ireland. Spyma, uh, quartermaster. Lost a claim on Breslau. Really? I need to fabricate another claim there. I'm not going to do it yet, though. So that that definitely means I'm going for a war against these guys, against Austria. Level three. Yep. Let's take. Uh, I'm going to declare for Livland because they're only. Oh, well, the only important one is Austria. Norway as well. The Norway shouldn't take over, so. If Austria takes over, France, however, will join in, so I, and I don't want that. Oh, yeah. So we're waiting. Brilliant. Keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting uh, that. You don't have vassals. If they, have, uh, if they had vassals, I could declare on the vassals. And... I'm about to hit the gap in military points. 817. Jesus, that's too much. Just get me arsenals. 65. Yeah, I'm going to build it on these guys. There. I'm not going to build it there, though. It was kind of a waste, but oh well. Manpower, yeah, Saxony and Augsburg. Yeah, Augsburg will definitely be a conscription center. Nine base tanks, but that manpower, them. And 700. So I'm going to start to flip the cultures of the lowest base tax, of the Danish lowest base tax. We'll start with that. Warnholm, so 25, I'm going to do it. Two, so 50, I'm going to do it. And Nordland. So 125, and I think that was another one. 175, alright. Right now, I'm going to do those four. We'll see how it goes later on. Because I'm only making six right now. Scotland, who are you allied with? Sweden, Poland, and Austria. You, however, I don't mind declaring war on. When will you expire? 80. Okay. Because if, even if Austria joins in, they shouldn't take over. I mean, the the Ottomans just took a whole lot of land. Scottish Columbia. Yeah, I don't care for that. Culture. Austrian. Yeah, there's a lot that I can take from the Ottomans now. Good. I need a nationalism, Casaspelli, that's what I need. Alright, so I have one army here. This army should be more than enough to handle this. 
Ireland, Ireland allied with France. That's that's bad, man. Off reliance. Jesus, this would mean. Oh, this will be ugly. The problem is France will join in, and I cannot call Russia into the fray. Or a great Mike. You know, uh, you should ally me. You know, just saying. Instead of rivaling me, you should ally me to fight against France. And I'm beating down Austria, so effectively I'm making sure that only myself can f can wage an effective war against France. Level 23. Yeah, I need to take this. 727. I'm going to wait until the end of the year, though. That means more conscription centers or arsenals. Not flipping in uh, this one. So let's take a look here. Manpower. It's pretty, pretty the same, I think. Oh, Zealand, 77. Yeah, I definitely want that one. 56, 67. Anyone else? About 50. Yep. Bust them. Yep. Over here. 42. So let's get that one. And 47. And 52. 905. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to keep it like that for a while. Naples on Tuscany, good luck. Danish, flipping that. Yeah, and I also claim on this one as well. Uh, the only one that really matters for me is this one. However, French, leave the coalition, if you will. If they leave the coalition, that would be brilliant. So August, nope. 42 men, alright. You are getting there. 14.5. I could just kill the natives, but... Let's get a bureaucrat. Keep the bureaucrats. Faction takeover, yep. 85. By 85, I'm thinking that I might actually... Yeah, I'm going to focus on admin. And I'm going to put a cut right now, so not in a very eventful episode. But we are paving our way for uh, the conquests that I'm going to make. Uh, the vassalization, this guy, plus 40, yeah. So, I can get up to 100. Okay, 109. Then plus 50 here, 159. Then I can guarantee them, 169. Then send a gift, 425, so uh, more than 190, yep. I can definitely vassalize them and then I will integrate them as soon as I can because these guys meh I'll expand diplo points and I keep forgetting that I need to put a cut in the episode so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this one put a thumbs up not a whole lot happened but it will hopefully soon and until next time do take care and goodbye